aquaculture centre grows out barramundi fingerlings in huge numbers for the sea cage farm operation out on Bathurst Island. And they're, they're t we provide them at a certain size and invariably there's a large number that are either too big or too small and these fish become available for us to stock places like Mountain Dam, we've stocked Lake Bennett with 55,000 the other week, about 80 mil average and uh, Lake Todd down near Pine Creek. These places are going to be opened up as recreational fisheries, artificially created fisheries. We contain the fish from escaping through the spillways with a net, prevents their escape during the wet season when the floods come. Uh, but these fish we're going to put in Mountain Dam because we reckon we've stocked Lake Bennett and Mount, Mount Todd and Mountain Dam as well, probably to their capacity. It's been at Channel Island since 1958 and as we've heard it's mainly for supplying stock to the various fish farms that inhabit the top end. We want to give these fish the optimal chance of survival. They've got a predator problem out here in the, in the waters so anything that's bigger than a, a juvenile barramundi that long is likely to want to eat it. So. It's important that the fish are released into all of the, the weeds and snags. And this sort of habitat provides them with the shelter and the food that they need to survive those first crucial days after being released. We're not sure how many fish are going to survive. We've got about 20,000 we're putting in today. We know that some of them are going to get picked off by predators, particularly by out of the barra. But I've got no doubt that what we're doing is going to certainly make the barra fishing over the next few years pretty good in Manton. So how does the facility work? Uh, the idea is basically doing research on fin fish, uh, mainly barramundi, and at the moment we're basically concentrating on the commercial side. We're providing uh, farms with pinglings um, during the year, um, so we're still doing a bit of research on food trials, things like that. Uh, last year we released 120,000 fish in total. Uh, so far this year we've released in the vicinity of 310,000 fish, all around about 100 millimetres and above in size. Well, most barramundi, well, all barramundi start off as males and then as they grow through life, around about five year mark, they generally change sex to a female. Um, it's believed around about 80 centimetres, they generally change over to female. Um, in our system here we've got males that are 15 kilos and over a metre long so it sort of puts a bit of a spanner in the works but general consensus is they're males for the first three four years of their life and they'll change over to females. 